right, welcome back to Happy Hour with Heather and Guest. Today we are joined by Piotr. It is pronounced Piotr, right? That's correct, yeah. Okay, and Fred from Sum, a band who we featured numerous times on the show. So glad you were able to join us today. Thanks a lot for inviting us. It's always a pleasure to talk <laughs> with you. Yeah. So how is everything? Uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, so we are at the Sum Cave, you know, our, our practice studio. Like we, uh, we are finishing practicing for uh, the upcoming tour. Uh, we, we are leaving uh, in two weeks for uh, for Europe. Uh, so we're going to be playing uh, uh, shows in uh, in Germany, Switzerland, Belgium. Um, I hope I don't forget uh, France, obviously. So yeah, super excited, and uh, so it's it's great to meet with you, folks, and and chat about it. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, it, I it's for ten days. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, yeah. Yeah, it's the first. Yeah. It's the first time we're gonna be playing that many shows in a row. You know, so I, I, we're not that young anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we we'll see how it goes. You know, it's a it's a it's a good challenge. Well, that's great. And I saw your singles coming out on June fifteenth. Yes. And that's like your show. Your first show is June fifteenth, isn't well, it? Uh, correct. Yes. Yeah. So basically, June fifteenth, like uh, we will be playing a festival in uh, in Ontario, uh, organized by uh, by our new label, uh, Black Tron Production. Um, so they they kind of invited most of the more yeah like biggest newcomers in the in the doom uh, stoner sludge scene in Canada, like to, for two days. Uh, so they invited us as well, and we just took that as an opportunity to release the, the new single on the same day. And then we're just leaving for Europe uh, right after it. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a busy two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. busy time. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who are out there and are curious, some has been with our show basically since the beginning. Correct. Um, yes. I think. I may have, what, one of you, I think, had been in a band, Lord Humongous. Correct, yeah. And yes. um, I had played that music. And then I think uh, some was just starting. Correct. I think, around that time. So we, we sort of became friendly with each other. And then you were got on our, and now you're in the inner circle. Yeah. <laughs> you've, Look, you've, yes. You've played live performances that we've streamed. Uh, we've reviewed your music. It's been it's been a really wonderful journey. Oh yeah, yeah, and 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 we did that together. Like uh, uh, I remember Andrew when when you were doing your previous show. Uh, like literally, we just we, we were just starting uh, the band. We we recorded our demo, and I remember that day. Like when when we saw like we, we just had like an Instagram ping or something, seeing that you notif like we were notified that our song was in the show. It was the very first time someone showed any interest in our music. So. We were so excited, and and since then, like yeah, we just we just been in touch forever. Yeah, it's great. Well, that's you know, Heather and I often discuss one of the wonderful things about this show is to, you know, shine a spotlight on bands who people may not know about. Um, and it just so happened that you you know I I found you guys at the beginning of your journey, so yeah. it's been a nice a nice coincidence. Indeed. No, and, 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 and to be honest, like uh, uh, I think it, like see, seeing that we could get interest from outside our circle, you know, because obviously, like you start a band, you have all your friends like showing up at shows and stuff, so that's nice. But you want to reach out to people that you don't know at all, like just through the music, and being featured in 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 your in your podcast at the time, like it gave us uh, like a, a really like a like high energy boost, you know. Like, we're like, oh, that's that's possible. It can happen, you know. So. It was. I remember, like it really played uh, played uh, an important role in in some at, at that point. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's the beauty of the internet is you know being able to meet bands from all over the world. It's you Absolutely. know, yeah, it's really exciting. And and, yeah. and 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 you remember, like these were like still the COVID times, so everybody was kind of stuck in their in his own little bubble, and that's. Um, it was great to have, you know, bands starting streaming and stuff, but also having uh, podcasts and, and shows like, like yours, like um, kind of broadcasting all these underground bands because at the time, like you couldn't play shows, so you were stuck. So it, it's, I think it really developed like some sort of like an internet community. 
Uh, and I think it's really positive. Like if we can take one positive thing from that era, that period, it's definitely that, you know. Yeah, well, that's amazing. <laughs> Heather and I met uh, through a marketing uh, conference that we did, and her one of the projects was to do a Facebook group, which she called Happy Hour with Heather and Guest. And then when the pandemic hit, and the opportunity came to live stream musicians from around the world, that's when I got involved to be able to help. And then it's sort of grown from there. Um, but yeah, that is a wonderful thing to take away from that. The only one of the few good things from that experience was just the ability to get good music out there, however it could be done. Yeah, yeah and people were feeling kind of low at that time. Uh, it was a time where, and really there was a lot of um, people didn't really know what to do at that time. And there was a lot of, you know, it, <laughs> And people, one thing I did notice is a lot of people were kind of down and that was really a fun way to showcase bands, but also to help lift up everyone's spirits Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and get, get everyone, try to get everyone through a difficult time, which, you know, that was kind of an added bonus to that too. Definitely. It was really yeah. uplifting to participate in something creative, you know, all together. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so nice to have everyone come together like that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it, it was also, I, I remember, um, you know, the, the, your band has, it's being basically led by the bass guitar. That's sort of the primary. And I, it had been a while since I had seen that in sort of the doom, you know, aside, there are a couple of bands that are led by the bass in the doom scene so that was sort of refreshing mm -hmm. uh, so it worked out so many things worked out where the music was really good it was really nice to be able to showcase your music and it was fun to have you on the show as many times as we did yeah yeah thanks <laughs> and i and and this year too you um i wanted to ask you too it's live at a CJLO that came out in February. And I wanted to ask you how, because it was kind of um, to celebrate the anniversary of your record. And I kind of wanted to ask you how your experience was recording that. Uh, that was really hard, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was difficult because, um, so the thing is like, as we were mentioning before, and even we did on your show, like we did, we did video streaming. Uh, and with the video streaming, you have a little bit of feedback because you can, you, you know, you have like a, like a screen, you can see what are you, you're displaying. So uh, it's kind of, yeah, at, at least you have a little bit of feedback of something. But here we were, we, basically we were on the radio. So like to, to give you uh, the full context, so there is this college radio, CGLO, uh, here in Montreal. Um, they invited us to, like they have like a studio, uh, like a small studio just by, by the, where they, they do their, their shows, their podcast. And so they invited us to, to play a couple of songs live during one of the of the show, um, Grade A Explosives. And so you're basically in the in the studio room. You know that someone somewhere is listening to you, but you don't have any feedback. Like when you play live, like at, at a show, like at least you know, like you, you can kind of have, have like you have that feedback and you know how you can adapt and, and react to it. But there you're totally like thrown in the void. And and it's it's kind of challenging, you know, for a musician. But um uh, Another thing, but that's yeah, that didn't help a lot. It's it's that 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 we were totally hangover. Like uh, <laughs> so, so we added you know, we added some problems um, to ourselves. Like uh, we, we we were playing a show the, the night before, and we just yeah, like we were not very serious. Like we just hang out a little bit too long. Um, but eventually, like it, I think it sounds well. Like it's it sounds it sounds tight. You know, it's not too bad, but definitely challenging. Yeah. What yeah. about the like, yeah, How was, was it for you? The problem was so is we didn't have any clue of the kind of how it sounded to the audience because there was this entire rig, right? There is this uh, this console. There is the, the, the sound guy who did a great job, but they, we had no idea, right? Because like the sound in the room was, you know, there was no feedback at all. So uh, that was uh, I'm always doing the sound TPT for some. So that was the first time I think I completely uh, gave away, you know, all the control to someone else. And uh, so when we received the the, the, the mixed version, 
I yeah. got the release and we listened to it. I was like very anxious, but I think that the guy did a great job. So, you know, it's uh, it was a, so hopefully that's how good it was too when it was streamed at I the hope, time. I hope, yeah. Um, but yeah, very happy with that release. I yeah. think that's uh, shout outs to, to Zach uh, yeah, that Zach did the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to try and record any of the shows that you're playing in Europe? Uh, we might, no? I we might, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a DIY tour, so we'll see the... It's always a matter of how much time we have to set up. And uh, we, we have like a little, you know, a little microphone and the, you know, the, the iPhone captures good video. So yeah, hopefully yeah. we can make at least some kind of compilation, I guess. Yeah, yeah. we document stuff, definitely, yeah. yeah. That's great. Well, it's, I mean, yeah. it sounds like it's going to be a wonderful experience. Yeah, I, 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 we expect a lot of parking lots. That's <laughs> that's yeah. the common thing with touring, you know, like we just hang out on parking lots all the time. But yeah, this, these ones will be just located somewhere else in Europe. But no, it's going to be great for sure. It's going to be great. Like, uh, and and we, we will be playing with a lot of different bands uh, in different cities. Like, uh, we're just curious, you know, to see how, how all, all these local scenes are, you know, it, it will be definitely fun. And uh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's gonna it's gonna be a great two weeks. Yeah. yeah. What what are some of the bands that you're gonna be playing with? Uh, so there is so uh, for for example, like we we will be starting playing uh, the first two shows with a band from uh, Paris called the Tyromancers, which are actually uh, yeah. with, with with Fred's yeah, brother. My brother, yes, the, the Tyromancers. So it's like a psychedelic rock, so a very good match uh, with us, I think. Totally uh, perfect uh, entry in. Uh, in the in business, we much uh, harder, so we play later. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's going to be a fun one for sure. Like almost like a family tour. Like yeah. For the first day for the first uh, first show. Uh, very fun. Yeah. Uh, we will play. Uh, so in Belgium, we play with a hardcore band called Drudge. Uh, we didn't know them before. Started checking them out. Like they're super like negative and brutal, which is kind of like the thing I like in hardcore personally. Like uh, I like it. My hardcore. I like my hardcore very like, kind of rough. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that to that show. Um, I know in in Netherlands we will play with a great band called Temple Fang. Uh, so this is more like on the psychedelic spectrum as well, uh, and and they're way bigger than us. So it's it's going to be exciting as fans, like you know, just to just to see them play. Uh, I know in Lyon we'll be playing with uh, Atomic Trip. So they're a, a, a doom band, like um, uh, without without vocals, so like just instrumental doom band. They're heavy as fuck yeah, like yeah. like <laughs> they sound so loud uh, they're gonna smash us to pieces uh, <laughs> and so super excited about that one as well um in orleans yeah we we, we invited the band in in orleans so that's like the um, not not the last show but just the, the the day before it's it's in the kind of like a, a hundred kilometers away from paris uh, it's a it's a band with two bases called ventre uh, so we discovered them a couple of months ago, uh, just, you know, like internet stuff, like, uh, you, you, hang, you know, you just, just scroll Instagram and they have this very interesting sound, you know, with two bases. So we thought it would be a, a cool match to play with them. So really excited about that one as well. And the last show in Paris, like this will be a family reunion. We play with two hardcore bands from Paris that we, we know for like 20, 20, more, more than 20 years. So that's, that should be a great, great show as well. So as you can see. It's a lot, lot of different bands, uh, different different music styles, but all of them bring something to the mix. And I, I, yeah, I think it's going to be a good match uh, every time. Yeah, yeah. you should. Um, if you're thinking of new T-shirt ideas, you could have one that reads, I like my beer cold, my TV loud, and my hardcore rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's it's... I'm fascinated since you said this is a DIY tour that I guess you reached out to all of these bands. Um, it's really cool that you were able to put this tour together, um, find, you know, really cool bands to, to open for you or play with you um, and then end up with a family reunion in Paris. No, it's, it's cool. But, but, you know, like when you, when you do these DIY tours, like, uh, like I, I could just spend another 10 minutes thanking all the people helping us for with this, you know, like, uh, cause, Depending on, on, on the city, like uh, we have some friends, friends of friends, and you, you know how it is. Like you just start reaching out, uh, asking for help. Like even on Facebook, uh, like I was I was posting on uh, like this kind of DIY uh, European tours groups, and random people were just sending me recommendations, places to to hit. You know, uh, 
um, friends contact. Like it's no, it's great. It's great that that people are supporting each other so much in in the in the underground music scene. Um, so yeah, I mean, it sounds like we did it, but to be honest, like it was definitely a group effort. Like uh, sure, sure. But it's it's wonderful that that like Heather always says, it's a very welcoming community. Yeah, um, and people are willing to help you. So, I mean, that's how this show gets by because people like yourself agree to come and talk to us and, you know, get the music out. So it's really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I've always said that, you know, the, <laughs> the community that's welcomed me the most is the metal community. Yeah. No. No, I, I agree. Um, and I could even like kind of, because, uh, you know, so we are, and by your accent, you hear it, like we are uh, European French. Uh, so we immigrated to Canada and we started the band here in Montreal. And, and the metal scene in, in Montreal is super welcoming. And, and that's the first time we really felt like we belong to a community here. Like, because, you know, like, obviously we have our normal lives on the side of, the, of, of metal, like with, with work, with just the regular kind of like, grown adult person boring shit you know and 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 to be honest like the metal community was where we really felt at our place like uh so yeah i can only confirm what you what you just said that uh, either yeah that, that could be another t-shirt on the front it could be grown, <laughs> ad, grown adult boring shit and then on the back listen to some be a, you know be a kid again <laughs> oh okay yeah, yeah that's yeah yeah <laughs> Now you have some merch ideas. I mean, these people, <laughs> yeah, they, I wish I could take credit, but they're creating themselves. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, you, 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 you get a cut, definitely, if we, have, if we print these shirts. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'll tell you, yeah, I, this is my gift. T, take them. I hope they sell well. But, uh, yeah. I'm, really, I'm really excited to hear about how the tour goes. I think it's going to be wonderful. Sure. Um, yeah, we can do it again. You know, we, we can chat again in a, in a few months, you know. Yeah, yeah. Pro Problems comes out June 15th, so be sure to check that out and then uh, check out Sum's back catalog. You guys have a bunch of albums already. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, and 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 the uh, and Problems is actually the first single of the the split we will release uh, on uh, Black Throne Production, like the the the, the, the label we just uh, collaborating with now. And it's with Temple of the First Witch, uh, which is a doom oh. band from Detroit. So it's gonna be. I like them. Yeah, it's gonna be heavy. Like the the name of the of the split is Conjuring, so Problems is the first single of it, and then cool. of the first which will follow with another single. Uh, we're planning to release it for Halloween, so you know you you know what to expect. Like uh, some really heavy songs, you know, heavy tracks. Yeah, so, well, I actually. <laughs> It's funny because it's um it's funny because I actually put Temple of the Fuzz Witch on our on our calendar that we're going to be talking about them. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, <laughs> excellent match. Yeah, they're very heavy. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to let the world know that in October there's going to be a split with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exciting. I yeah, can't wait great. to hear that. And so, yeah. did, did you listen to the the last album? That's it. like I think they released the, the album like maybe a month or two months yeah. ago. Yeah. I think it's really yeah. good. It is really good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's really exciting that you guys are doing a split with them. Yeah. That's oh, really cool. No, it's it's and it's big for us, you know, like uh cuz cuz I think they're a bigger band than us, so it's 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 interesting to and I think we also bring something a little bit different from them. So I think it's going to be a good split, you know, like interesting split. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. I'm excited to check it out. Uh you you'll be the first to receive it. Thank you. <laughs> As usual. Well, Heather, anything else you have on your on your agenda? No. No, is there anything that you guys want to uh, talk about? Well, I, 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 I think we we, we, we we rolled out the full agenda here. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, but have, a, have a wonderful trip. Have a safe trip. Have a wonderful time. I hope the concerts all go really well. I'm excited to hear how it goes. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. No, it's it's a pleasure, and and, and us. yeah, and and thanks thanks for doing that. Like it's it's really great that you you're continuing uh, like highlighting all these underground bands, and I hope you continue doing that because that thank that's you. really like I don't think if you realize how how positive and how how impactful it can be uh, for a smaller band like to get this attention, like it's it really can make a difference. So I I, I really think it, you're you're doing a great job. Thank oh, you. Thank yes. You. Well, yeah. I mean, he Heather 
has been the tip of the spear on all this. So I really have to take my cap off. But thank <laughs> you so much, guys. We really appreciate you taking the time and good luck with everything. We'll, we will definitely be in touch. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, folks. Have a great thank day. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.